Good evening. I'm Tom Tucker, and welcome to a new segment of Card Family Facebook Group News, the late night edition. No, no porn. I know, that's pretty sad. But I do got the latest news in the Card Family. For our first segment today, it is a new segment called What Gay Selfie Did Jetman 80 Post Today? And to recap the gay selfies he posted, first off, let's see this. Like, like what, what is this? That's, that's pretty damn gay. Sorry, but I don't know. Just to recap on some old news, and if you guys want to be scared for some hairy-ass legs, he also sent us a good morning post as well. Good morning to you and your hairy legs taking a dump. And now that segment is over, let's get to the latest posts from the Card family. All right, today, visual storyteller Michael Williams got in an awesome care package from Michael Moore and some great deals from Sebastian Select. Congrats to you, buddy. Really sick Kylo Ren mem card. Commemorative patch. All right. Joseph Treadwell also is asking if anybody knows the values of the Michael Gallup and Gronk. Yes, I'm a millennial. I'm going to use my phone, as a lot of you guys have suggested told me earlier so fuck your cue cards all right nelly jorge george asked if anybody was interested in this really sick nasty peyton manning patch autograph i would be but i'm a broke joke next andrew mazza the visual storyteller salt dog posted a video of i'm guessing it's him screeching to the cats Singing Ariana Grande. And that's enough. I'm sorry, but that's enough. Next, the visual storyteller also posted, Did you know, in 1969, when the Miracle Mets won the World Series, Cleon Jones batted 340 on the season and batted 422 in the playoffs? Your useless stats of the day, brought to you by Salt Dog Andrew Mazza. Also, Sam Stanlick, a.k.a. Jets Boy 80. Yeah, I don't know what a Jet Man is, but I do know what a Jet Boy is. And it's this guy right here. Sent out his secret Santa, and it is in transit to whoever is the poor bastard that gets surprised with this pathetic package. It's yours. It's on the way. Michael Williams got his dick trickled autographed. Also... Scott Wallace posted a video of what I believe to be his kid, but I had no chance to watch it, so I apologize. Sebastian Select sent Michael Williams a pretty nasty hat. Good job to you. That's, that's pretty sweet. Also, Hagen Mike, Mike Hagen. I'm thinking it's Mike Hagen's alter ego. I, I, no one knows. Posted Mexiclaws. Good selfie. You caught him. Good job. Also, the card dreamer, Jeremy Pepper, is on a, ten, on a vacation. I'm not sure if he said 10 days or how many days it was, but have fun on your vacation, card dreamer. He also posted the Andrew Mazza edition of a car air freshener, and that says, a fart is a wish your butt makes. Good job, you two. I hope people buy these. Not really, because it probably smells. But, also, William Redden got in this really sick, nasty punter autograph of Pat McAfee. Congrats to you. That's one I'm definitely wanting to add to the list. Greg Peralt sent a video of some kid with cow nuts on his neck. Interesting. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I have no words to say to that. that that's something. Also, oh, Sam Stanlick again. Gotta just gotta show it off again. Him and these selfies. I don't know. Or leggies. Yeah, we're gonna call these a leggy. Because those are that's a leg selfie right there. Also, AJ Goldberg asked if anybody has any Philip Lindsay autos for sale or trade. He'd prefer them in a CU uni, but he'll look at all. And he might start collecting him with Barkley. So, if you guys have anything like that, hit him up. All right, any other latest news? Oh, yeah, Andy Morris made me hungry because he posted 
um, yeah, I posted a post for recipes. Like, but why, why'd you gotta do this to me? Thank you for that. And to end out on the card family news, who else am I gonna end out on? Nobody else better than Jetboy80. Asking if there's any interest in this guy with his BGCG Calvin Ridley rookie. He wants a Dak Prescott autograph, that guy. I don't know what kind of crack he's smoking, but obviously it's pretty damn strong. So, uh oh, uh, uh, almost forgot. Christopher Hassan. I think, think that's your name. Yeah, we're going to go Hassan. Said, well, card family, an even more interesting update to the Bowman Vest box saga. He read through the history of the messages and realized he had messaged a seller a month ago, and that's when the release date was when the product was going to ship. He had gotten no response. And he lost track of it because of busyness at work and having a baby a month ago. Congrats to you. Congrats to having your child. I, congrats. And he's expected to hear from the seller. That's really fucking long. So, I hope everything works out for you. Oh, yeah. Why did I say I was going to end out? There's still so much more coming. All right. So, Andrew Mazda. Also, Mazda Dog, Salt Dog, whatever you want to call him. The Fart Boy. The Fart Boy 80. That's you. Posted the best of Stifler. Suck me beautiful. Good morning, fuckers. Interesting. Also, Dustin Abraham. Wanted to let me know, or let you guys know, give him a special shout out saying he has no time for us, which is bullshit because he always has time for me. You always better have time for me. So, that is it for your latest card family news. Brought to you by Tom Tucker, the Panthers fan. Good night. Fart happy.